Hoboken, New Jersey is rapidly developing, but this old leather tanning factory from the late 1800s is now an historical site that can't be knocked down. For the last 30 years, creative people like Milo have used the building for inspiration for the art they live for. Milo was born in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. He lived in South Africa for seven years when he was younger, but now calls Hoboken home. So this building, is you, it's not zoned for a living here, it's not zoned for businesses here, but it's, it's more just kind of workspaces for artists, furniture makers, um, musicians. So you got all types of people in this building. All night, basically, there's something going on in here. My name is Milo Venter. I live in Hoboken, New Jersey, and I'm a musician. And uh, I'm also a part-time barista. I work in a coffee shop to pay the bills, but music is my first love and something that I hope to keep doing for as long as I can. We live in kind of a really crazy time and a really crazy place where everybody's super distracted all the time. And people around here don't want to stop and talk to you. They just want to kind of get where they're going. And music's a way to connect with other people who are like-minded and, and just stay fresh and feel young and feel good about life, you know? It's pretty awesome. You have people from every, every corner of the world living in New York. It's a melting pot of, of, of all different ideas and beliefs and, and cultures. So there's so many new experiences you can have in New York. Every single time I go into New York, I see something that I never thought that I was going to see before. I can go see music whenever I want. The city, it, it, there's always something going on no matter what time it is in New York City. So it's just kind of a really exciting place to be and it really keeps, keeps me interested and it keeps me motivated because you see so many, so many people doing what they love and, and kind of making things happen in New York that it just is motivating to be out here for me. My dad was a big music guy. He always listened to, you know, a lot of, when I was, when I was born, it was, you know, the mid 80s. So he would listen to a lot of really bad 80s music, but he also, Listen to Pink Floyd and the Beatles and Crosby, Stills and Nash. So there was always that that really legendary music going on. So I was, you know, always really inspired by it. Music for me is just about it's an outlet. It's kind of a therapeutic thing where if you're having a bad day or if you're dealing with some personal issues, to be able to sit there and play even just basic songs on the piano and sing along to them is kind of a way to just let it all out. So. I'll play forever. I don't, I'll never stop playing, no matter what. I'd rather I'd rather play music than be a millionaire. If if I if they if they told me they were going to give me a million dollars and I would have to stop playing, I would turn it down. You know. Watch it free on Journey.